Welcome to Speak Mal Gain Seconds with Father Bitti. Today we are going to talk about counting of numbers. And uh, it's going to be a series of videos. Today we are beginning with counting from numbers 1 to 10. And in this section of numbers 1 to 10, we are going to deal with cardinal and ordinal numbers. This will enable learners from the beginning to know how to count 1 to 10 because in every in any language it is very paramount to know numbers as it will help you in conversation in interaction in communication or in doing business whatever it is numbers are very very important and that's what we are going to be doing today and so we are going to begin with the with counting 1 to 10 from the ordinal numbers In Margi, it goes this way how to count. One is tan, stan, makr, fodu, ntefo. Can we try that? Tan, stan, makr, fodu. Ntefo. Try again. Don't be shy. Go ahead. Good. Practice makes perfect. Now, Mkwa. Mkwa. Mdfo. Sisu. Umzo Kumu. Can we try that from six to ten again? Nkwa Mudfu Nsisu Umzo Kumu. Can you try that? Don't be shy, just try your best. I'm sure you are going to make it. Practice makes perfect, so. Having seen the ordinal, the, the cardinal numbers, the ordinal numbers, now we look at the cardinal. But after this, I'm going to give you a slide that contains both so that we know the difference. I know it's possible to have confusion between the two. Pathu is one. Mathu is two. Then three to ten is the same between the cardinal and the ordinal number. I think in order not to create confusion with regards to this, I'll place both for you so that you will know the major difference between the ordinal and the cardinal. Now from this slide, we have the cardinal numbers first and the ordinal number. And you know that, you see, if you notice from the screen here, ordinal numbers, I put in the bracket a word kurnyi this word kurnyi would be very important in deciphering the ordinal numbers from the third number now the cardinal numbers as we saw 1 to 10 is just ordinary 1 to 10 as cardinal numbers pathu mathu marker Fodo, Mtefo, Nkwa, Mdfo, Nsisu, Mzo, Kumu. You notice that the ordinal numbers look almost the same apart from the first two. So you can see that to the right we have the indicators of first to tenth. Now the first is Tang. Some will call it tan, some will call it tang, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that that tan is, uh, is sound, it's, it's heard. Then stan, stang, stang, second. Now marker, you notice is the same with the cardinal. So this is where this word will be very useful. This here in bracket, 
Kurinyi. Now maybe you are explaining something and you are trying to say first, secondly, thirdly, you know, a kind. So Makr Kurinyi will be thirdly, fourthly will be Fodu Kurinyi, Mtefu Kurinyi, Nkwa Kurinyi, Mtefu Kurinyi, Nsisu Kurinyi, Mdle Kurinyi, Kumu Kurinyi. Now this will depend within the context you would be using the ordinal numbers. But as it is now, we leave it at that. I'll make another video to explain because when you make it a kind of descriptive, the kurinyi becomes very, very important. It may be a little complicated, but please bear with me as I am not a professional teacher. The little I'm able to know is what I'm trying to explain. So today, I'm sure you have learned how to count 1 to 10 in Margi. And remember, in the counting, in the counting, you go tang, stan, makr, fodu, tufu, kwa, mudfu, sisu, umdu, kumu. That's the counting. So notice the difference, you know, in ordinal and cardinal numbers. Please, if you have questions, ask right below so i'll be able to know and please try to subscribe to my channel so that when i have new videos it will come across to you thank you for watching palapalaudu say scary good luck